This is experiment three, freezing and melting of water from the Physical Science with Vernier lab book. A more advanced version of this lab can also be found in the Chemistry with Vernier lab book. In this experiment, we will investigate the freezing and melting temperatures of water. Start by filling a 400 milliliter beaker, approximately one third full with ice. Add 100 milliliters of water to the beaker. Add 5 milliliters of water to the test tube. Lower the test tube down into the water bath. Place a temperature probe into the test tube and connect the temperature probe to LabQuest. Choose New from the file menu. In this experiment, we need to change both the rate and the length of data collection. To do this, tap on the word Rate on the meter screen. This brings up the data collection dialog box. Change the rate to 0.1 samples per second. Change the data collection length to 900 seconds. And tap OK. And start data collection. After data have been collected for 30 seconds, you will be adding 5 teaspoons full of salt to the water. Add the salt to the water in the beaker. And start stirring the water in the beaker. At the same time, gently move the temperature probe in the test tube. You want to keep the end of the temperature probe down in the water in the test tube because that's where we're investigating the freezing temperature of the water. During the first part of the graph, you can see that the temperature drops as the water cools in the test tube. During this part of the graph, the temperature stays the same. This is because the water in the test tube is going through a phase change and is becoming a solid. Once the phase change is complete, the temperature continues to drop below zero. In the second half of this experiment, students investigate the phase change in the opposite direction as the ice melts into water. For full instructions and sample data, visit our website.